Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Hey, I'm back out on the road. I thought I'd do a few talks outside. So, today I want to talk about photochemicals. So, I process my black and white film with HC110. And I use Dilution B. And I have this, I think it's a, I'm not sure what the quantity is. It's a small measuring spoon that literally has like a pinky's worth of fluid in it. And it might be a milliliter. That might be way too much. I don't know my number so much. But I use, I know I can mix 16 ounces of water with three of those spoonfuls. And I can make fresh HC110 dilution B in no time. And the fixer I use, I kind of use it and I allow it to as I use it, it kind of goes down in quantity because some spills and then I end up adding a little bit more and I replenish it with some fresh. And I haven't had any trouble doing that. I've been doing that for years. So my process is I have a roll of film. I quick unload it. I have that Harrison film tent that I picked up at the camera show. I load the film in, onto a reel into a tank in that. And then in like no time, I can go make three of these spoonfuls HC 110, 16 ounces of water, and then the fixer, I, I, it just sits on the same counter covered, and it's something that I can make a lot of use out of. And occasionally I will, you know, toss it away or I'll turn it into paper fixer and then I'll make a whole new batch. But the beauty of the HC 110 is, well, there's two things. One is I used to rinse my film, just put water into the tank before I would process my film, and the water coming out of the tank from the dry film was kind of like a bluish color and it kind of made uh, the the water very very dark and then when I would process HC 110 the HC 110 would come out a weird color so I've stopped doing that and I've been doing HC 110 and HP 5 is a five minute um, development time and after it's done, I'll just pour it back out into the same measuring cup that I use and, and then I cover it back up and it sits inside this dark studio bathroom so there's no light on it and it's covered and... But then if I have another raw film, I'll do it with the same batch. And then if I have another raw film in two or three days, I'll do it again with the same batch. And I find that one shot of Dilution BHC 110, I can get at least four rolls out of, and they don't have to all be at the exact same time. If they were two tankfuls of two each, that would be completely fine. But I often will do two rolls or one roll now, and then another one in a couple of days, and another one in a couple of days. And I haven't had any trouble with that. And I like the fact that once the chemical is poured and mixed, it's kind of ready as soon as I can load a reel onto a film onto a reel and put it in that tank, I can get another one going and hung up and ready to put and scan. So to me, HC110 and black and white film are just such a, a pleasure to work with for developing. I don't have any D76. I don't use anything other than HC110. I don't use a stop bath. I just use water. And then for fixer, I use Ilford's rapid fix because I don't want to mix any kind of powders or anything that comes out of liquid. But talk about a simple way to like come back from right now, wherever I'm at and photographing and a raw film is done and then take it right over to that developing tank and get that going and in no time it's ready. It's hung up to dry. One hour later it's dry and I can cut it and scan it. And that's to me what makes black and white film so easy to use. It's not like there's a big time commitment to shooting and then waiting for it and driving it to a lab and if you have the ability to get those chemicals, and I know B&H sells them and you can buy them online and Adorama, you can buy them online, you can order them and they'll come to you. It's so much, so much more efficient than sending it out and paying somebody. And it seems to me rather inexpensive. The concentrate of the HC110 that you take those, two ti those three tiny uh, spoonfuls from, it's a 32 ounce bottle that lasts forever. And it used to come in 16 ounces, and then they, the last time I bought it, they didn't have 16s. They only had 32s, but it's not that expensive. I think it's maybe 
15 or 20 dollars and it lasts for a long long time so if you're looking to develop your own film you're shooting tri-x shooting hp5 fp4 any of those black and white stocks do it yourself and you're doing yourself a favor you can find the equipment for like the tanks people will give them to you because there are so many people getting rid of dark rooms and you can make use of that in fact there's one guy right in north denver right now who just offered me a durst pro enlarger if anybody's interested in that give me a text down below and i will hook you up with them and talk to them about maybe you guys can connect and you can get that enlarger from them all right that's photography talk if you're enjoying these hit the subscribe button if you're able to support please do hit the patreon and thanks so much for watching we'll talk photography again soon